Hello everyone and welcome to Beach House Bees. Today, we were eating dinner in our dining room through that window right there and all of a sudden my wife says, oh, the bees are swarming. So I ran outside and they are. I don't think they're my bees. You can see they're starting to, to gather actually a little bit. As they're swarming around, this is my swarm trap right here that I've had out all year that I've been hoping to catch a swarm into. And um, they're starting to cluster on the edge of that box right there. I was hoping to see them go into the entrance. But I wonder if in the process of landing and deciding where to land, they've lost the queen. And so that's why they're a little bit scattered right now. Okay, I'm up on the patio now. And you can see the bee is still buzzing around. They were they were really filling this whole area and now they've kind of started to consolidate down into this space right down here. There's a little bit of a cluster down there on the ground. It's not a very large swarm and then there's also a bit down there. Looks like they're a bit confused trying to organize themselves. A swarm of bees always has one queen. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit closer, but I have to be careful because the uh, queen could be anywhere. I have some old comb out here, hoping to, uh, sometimes it can attract wild swarms and so it looks like we might have gotten lucky here today. So I'm looking to see if I can spot the queen. This is a pretty good sized cluster over here. They look like they're trying to get organized. Oh, I found the queen. She's, on, she's on the ground down there. This is actually the smallest little cluster of bees not bigger than maybe both of my hands put together at best. But I really want them to go inside that swarm box. That's kind of what I was thinking. If I just get her inside from here, she'll go in there. In fact, if I can get the majority of the bees to go in there, they'll all follow. Some of the bees are starting to go inside. The more bees that go inside, that'll attract them in through the entrance, too. Oh, they're all coming up the side of this box. They're starting to cluster here on the side of this box, but then they're also coming up here to the front, up here. They're kind of splitting, going two different ways. There's a whole bunch coming. There's a whole bunch coming to the front of the box. But it doesn't look like they're going into the box quite yet. Okay, the bees that were over here are now migrating that way. They are very, they're getting much closer. They're almost working themselves up in the direction of the front of the hive. I'm watching them come. Well, all of them are. All of them. They're finally starting to gather. It seems like they've come to a consensus. They're all moving down this way and they're starting to cluster in this old hive box. It's got a bunch of old comb in it, actually. Kind of funny. Oh, there's the queen. What I was thinking about doing was just setting this whole box on top of here and see if they'll go down inside maybe. Where can they get into it? It's open on top. It, the, there's a big crack right here where they can get down into the frames. Okay. So we're still just kind of watching the bees. They all started rushing this way and then they stopped. So I'm moving this swarm trap like this, hoping that maybe it will attract them into it <clears throat> because the majority of the clusters in this area right here so if they'll find this entrance and start going in then uh, I can just put it right back where it was but it's just about getting them to find it and go to it that's all so there's a couple of bees down here now starting to come out and fan their wings they're sending the signal to the rest of the bees see all these bees that are stationary 
they're starting to fan their wings, which is signaling to all these bees over here and all these bees down there that this is where they should all be coming to. Let's see if it works. There we go. Now let's see if they can find it a little bit better. Come on bees. But this, there's a bunch of raw comb here on these frames that we had from an extraction that's very enticing to these bees. They're very interested in all this raw comb here. And so they are, they seem to have, they're not as interested in this swarm trap anymore. Seems like they've kind of merged the two clusters into one a little bit more, but they still aren't going into the swarm trap. The suspense is killing me. They're really not quite sure where they want to go. But it seems like they're pretty set on this old box here. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is pick up this whole box and put it and set it on top of an op of the open swarm trap. See if that'll entice them to go inside the swarm trap. Because they just don't seem to be that interested in it and I don't want them just hanging out in this old box. So I think I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for getting me some honeycomb, babe. Yeah. We're gonna set this inside the swarm trap to see if it will bring them in. Yep. I'm just gonna dump it in there, I think. And I'll just set this right here. Okay. That'll attract them. <laughs> Come get your dinner. Okay, I decided not to move the whole box because they were starting to run. They were starting to move all over the place again. If I could get a bunch of them to go in there, I think we'd get them to stay. So I'm still tempted to pick up this whole box. Shake the bees off. And then uh, inside of here, and then walk away. In fact, I might even take the big box with me, but I just don't want to damage the queen or lose the queen in the process. That's my number one concern. I have an idea. I'm going to take them out one frame at a time. I think they're going in now. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bunch of them in there now, plus the honey on top of that. So I think they're starting to come in. Oh yeah, Woohoo, they're all going in now. Well, now that we're pulling all the bees out of that old box, they're quite the cluster. It's not too small. I mean, it's still not a huge cluster, but they're making their way in now. I did something else too when I opened up the box. I had a, a jar of uh, lemongrass essential oil and that is what attracts swarms. And I opened it up, which is gonna make it a lot more appealing in there. Plus that big comb of honey. And I think we got them. They are all over the entrance of this thing. They are definitely walking away from this old one. Oh yeah, this was a really late swarm. That's very uncommon for sure. These don't normally swarm at, you know, 8 p.m. or whatever time it was. I think our job is done here. They are definitely moving and migrating into the swarm trap. And to be perfectly honest, it's a much better home than this old exposed box anyway. It's 
not too small of a swarm actually. Pretty happy with that. Probably got maybe eight, seven thousand, maybe six thousand bees. It's probably about two pounds. Yeah. One to two pound package. Little swarm there. And they've been not, they're not flying anymore. Hi. They haven't been flying for a while. Well, I think our job is done here. At this point, we'll just leave them alone and they'll all migrate over. There's not a lot more we can do really, just but wait. Thank you.